Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring in this truth worldwide to wake up the elect of the children of Israel. She were the Dawah Dawah coming to you with another lesson. And this lesson is going to be entitled Deuteronomy 28. Who do the curses fit? All right. And, um, you know, Deuteronomy 28 is a very prophecy laden chapter. All right. And, uh, 1 through 14 are blessings that's going to be bestowed on the children of Israel. And 15 through 68 are curses. And as you see, Yahweh Shahasha wasn't playing with these curses. But, you know, he knew we was going to go off. But it was all of the most high will because it's his movie, right? So let's jump into some of these curses and try and figure out who they fit. All right. So this is Deuteronomy 28 and 15. <clears throat> so like you. But it shall come to pass. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. To observe to do all his commandments. And his statutes which I command thee this day. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right. So if you know anything, man, these curses have overtaken our people. And matter of fact, let's go ahead and jump to 46. You know what? I'm going to start at 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee. That, again, that's that overtake thee. Till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest, that they were hearken again, hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. And they, what are they? The curses shall be upon thee <clears throat> for a sign and for a wonder <clears throat> and upon thy seed forever. All right, so these curses are for a sign. What's a sign where you driving down the highway and it says uh, next 10 miles, your exit off Fairfield Boulevard? Or you getting ready to go to a Shell gas station and you look up and see where it identifies the Shell gas station. That's a sign, right? And for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. All right, so these curses are for a sign, and they're going to be upon the seed of the children of Israel forever. These curses don't stop until our Savior, you know, come back, which is Yahweh Shai. All right, so let's go back and get some of these curses. All right, and let's see who they fit. Let's go by process of elimination. <clears throat> So this is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 16. Cursed shall thou be in the city and cursed shall thou be in the field. All right. So even back during the time of when Nebuchadnezzar had took over and conquered Israel, when they cursed in the city. All right. When they cursed in the field. Now, let's fast track that to the day. Who are the people cursed in the city and who are the people cursed in the field? That's your work field. Is any field you can think of? Who are these people who are cursed? Process of elimination. All right. Verse 17. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. All right. One of the people in Tulsa, Oklahoma, one they basket and store cursed. All right. Then they try and establish their own way of doing things. And Yahweh stirred up that ancient hatred that Esau has for Jacob. And they actually bombed that city, man. All right. 
He says, Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body and the fruit of thy land, the increase of thy kind, and the flocks of thy sheep. All right. Now, back in the ancient times, guess what? Those things happen. Because our people don't have any uh, land where they can actually grow fruit on or any flocks of sheep that they can tend to. And the fruit of thy body, guess what, man? Our children are upon these curses. We just read in Deuteronomy 46 that this is going to be upon our seed forever. All right? It says, Cut, Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. All right, man, you born right now in this day and age as a so-called African, so-called Native American, so-called Latino, guess what? You're cursed. And when Esau or two-thirds of our people put us to death, you're cursed going out, all right? Says the verse 20, the Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke in all that thou settest thine hand unto for to do, all right? Just like we just mentioned Tulsa, Oklahoma. Guess what? It was things like that that happened in in um in Chicago in Detroit. All around this country, man, when they put their hands to separate from this demon, this devil, the deceiver, guess what? Your how about shower shot went with them. Why? Because they weren't they weren't trying to follow these law statutes of commandments, all right? And once we broke them, guess what? We were gonna perpetually be up under these curses, all right? Uh, read known, it says, until thou be destroyed un and until thou perish quickly. All right. And that's what happened during those different rides, man. All right. They perished quickly. And guess what? It was nothing done. It was, it was no hope, no might in their hands. And guess what? That's part of the curses, man. So who do these things fit? The trail of tears. Who do these things fit? Christopher Colon. Who do these things fit? Process of elimination, all right? Because of the wickedness of thy doings, whereby thou hast forsaken me. Yeah, we didn't forsake you, how about shower shot? But in these last days, he's raising up a remnant that he's going to save, all right? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 21. The Lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he hath consumed thee from off the land, what is thou goest to possess it? All right. So pestilence is what? STDs. You know what I'm saying? These different uh, hmm, gout, you know, diabetes. These are pestilence, man. Is what's cleaving to our people. All right. Because why? We have forsaken the Lord our power. All right. It says, let's read that again. This is Deuteronomy 20. 8 and 21 the lord shall make the pestilence cleave unto thee until he hath consumed thee from off the land whether thou goest to possess it then the pestilence cleave to the native american indians man when 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 those devils gave them small pot blankets all right so who do these curses fit man who do they fit process of elimination all right once again these curses are perpetual they are upon the seed of israel forever all right. Verse 22. The Lord shall smite thee with a consumption and with fever and with an inflammation and with an extreme burning and with the sword and with blasting and with mildew. And they shall pursue thee until thou perish. All right. Once again, man, that consumption, that fever, that inflammation. You know, if you got gout, you got real bad inflammation of these joints, man. And where did that stem from? That stem from eating pork. You still want to be wicked. You still want to uh, follow the customs of the heathen, like this wicked ass Halloween. You know, and guess what? Your how about shall shy is gonna continually punish you. All right. Verse twenty-three, and thy heaven that is over thy head shall be brass. And the earth under their feet shall be iron. Man, what is that talking about? It's talking about the prison system, man. All right? You know, 
uh, a lot of our people, man, are locked up in the prison system to be slaves, all right? You know, during the time of sharecropping, they made laws where if you was caught off the plantation, guess what, man? You went to jail. Loitering was jail. You know what I'm saying? They said that um, the Emancipation Proclamation was just transferring ownership from a uh, um, public people to a private company, which is the United States of America. All right? And with that being done, it also set up laws to where if you were doing any type of thing, Jim Crow laws, you know what I'm saying, uh, any type of thing, it revoked your freedom and you became what? A perpetual slave. All right? And that's why they set up these different laws to the point where if you were to do anything, man, they convicted you and taking away your freedom. Why? So they can put you back in slavery. All right? Let's jump down a little bit. Let's go to verse 30. Verse 30. All right? Who do these curses fit? Process of elimination. All right? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 30. Thou shalt betroth a wife, and another man shall lie with her. Thou shalt build a house, and thou shalt not dwell therein. Now, this actually goes back to the slavery time, but guess what? That's going back to now, right now, too. You know, two-thirds of our people, man, they, they so wrapped up in wickedness, they don't care about sleeping with another man's wife, all right? They don't care about these things. And you building somebody's house by you going to them perpetually working, you know what I'm saying, in this captivity, because you damn sure ain't building your own house with the money you're making, all right? It says, and thou shalt not dwell therein, thou shalt plant a vineyard, and thou shalt not gather the grapes thereof, all right? And that's going on with our people. Verse 32, from the Negroes, Latinos, to Native Americans. Who do these curses fit by process of elimination? All right. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. All right. When did this happen? This happened in slavery. But guess what? If uh, CHP wants to uh, come and roll up in your house and take your kids, you can't do anything. All right. Let's read this again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. All right. And guess what? This happened to the Native Americans too, man. They actually took, and uh, Apostle Ella Rama brought this out a couple of weeks back, where they actually took the children, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and sent them and made them be adopted, man. All right. So these curses are upon the children of Israel as a sign and for a wonder. By process of elimination, vocab Malone, who do these curses fit? All right. Once again, Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. All right. And guess what? There is no might in our hand to get our people back, man. If they want to come in and take your kids right now, there's nothing that you can do. You'll have to try and go through some kind of resources, go through a lawyer, you know what I'm saying? But is there there's no might in your hand. All right? Check this curse out. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 35. The Lord shall smite thee in the knees and in the legs with a sore box that cannot be healed from the sole of thy foot until the top of thy head, all right? Guess what, man? Our people have aches and pains constantly in this captivity. Why? Because this is a curse from your how about shower shy? Because we disobeyed. We were disobedient, man. All right? And guess what? All Israel disobeyed. All right? Verse 37. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword, <clears throat> Among all nations, whether the Lord shall lead thee. All right. Now, this is another scripture, man, that, that tells us that we're going to be scattered into all nations. All right. But more importantly, they say we're going to become an astonishment, 
you know, you got guys walking around with skinny, skinny ass jeans on with your motherfucking drawers showing. Man, that's an astonishment. And also a proverb. What's a proverb? It's a wise saying. All right? What's some of the wise sayings they have about us? We love chicken. We love watermelon. What you put in the book and the nigga ain't going to read it. Something to that effect. And a byword. What's a byword? It's anything these nations call you outside your God-given nationality. All right? So who do these curses fit? All right? By process of elimination. It says, among all nations where the Lord shall lead thee. All right? Let's go to verse 41. By process of elimination, who do these curses fit? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters, and thou shalt not enjoy them, for they shall go into captivity. All right? So who do these curses fit? Who went into captivity and was not able to enjoy their sons and daughters because they went into captivity? Who do these curses fit? Remember, these curses are going to be upon the children of Israel for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. All right? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 43. The stranger that is within thee shall get up above thee very high, and thou shalt come down very low. All right? He shall lend to thee and thou shalt not lend to him. He shall be the head, and thou shalt be the tail. All right? By process of elimination, who did this fit, man? Out of all Latino, so-called African American, so-called Native American, who are you lending to? And who is lending to you? By process of, el of elimination, who do these curses fit? All right? And we're going to read this again. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 45. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall consume shall like you. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee, uh, overtake thee until thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, shall I, which I command thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Why? Why, Lord? Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. All right, since we don't want to do that, guess what? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. If you want something neat, where you got to go? By process of elimination, who does this fit? In thirst? You want something to drink, where you got to go? I don't care if it's like your damn faucet. All right? And in nakedness, if you want to put some clothes on your back, where you got to go? And in the want of all things, and you want to go get a driver's license, where you got to go? You want to go get a business license where you want to go. You want to go get anything, a death certificate, a birth certificate. Where do you have to go? All right. And in the want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. All right. So you Google yokes of iron. And guess what you're going to find? You're going to find Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans with yokes of iron upon their neck. So by process of elimination, who do these curses fit? All right. And the Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far, from the end of the earth, as swift as the eagle flyeth. All right. You always have buzzwords in the scriptures, man. All right. That eagle has always been the moniker of the Edomites. All right. From Greece to Rome to Germany, to France, to Britain, and now America, all right? A nation whose tongue thou shalt not understand, all right? 
a nation of fierce countenance, which shall not regard the person of old, nor show favor to the young. And that's what, man, these curses are born us for a sign and for a wonder and upon our seed forever. Guess what? They still don't regard the person of old. I remember seeing a, a, a California highway patrol just beating the hell out of this elderly 60-year-old Jake. And she was just asking the question. And we already know, no favor to the young. Just what, a couple of weeks ago, you had this woman, I think she was like 28, maybe 26, and Dallas got shot through her own damn window? Who do these curses fit by process of elimination? All right? Let's go ahead and get to this right here. All right? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate, his eyes shall be evil toward his brother. All right? And that ain't saying that we were soft, man. That's saying that we had love for each other, man. If, if my brother needed something and I had it, he had it. All right? But guess what? Now his eye is evil toward his brother. You're black on black crime. So-called black on black crime. So-called Latino on Latino crime. So-called Latino on so-called black crime. So-called black on Latino crime. All right? Your eye shall be evil toward your brother and toward the wife of his bosom and toward the remnant of his children which he shall leave. All right? So by process of elimination, who do these curses fit? Now, you can try and say one or two or three don't fit a certain group. But by process of elimination, who do these curses fit? You can't get around it. Let's get to the kicker. Matter of fact, let's get to this one first. Because guess what? Just like the elder Manata Zabba I brought out two days ago in the uh, live stream, being scattered among the nations is a curse vocab. So who do these curses fit? All right. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 64. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people from one end of the earth even unto the other. And there thou shalt serve other gods, which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Guess what, man? During the sons of Haram slave trade, guess what we were, we were forced to serve? Stone. That cobblestone. All right? During the transatlantic slave trade, guess what we were forced to serve? The cross of the so-called Christian, all right? Who do these curses fit by process of elimination? It's that simple. Verse 65, and among these nations shall thou find no ease. Ain't man, if you have right now, you driving down the street and the cop roll upon you and you see those flashing lights, are you at ease? Hell no. Read no, neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest, but the Lord shall give thee there a trembling heart and failing eyes and sorrow of the mind. All right? You're not at ease here, man. You can be taken out at any point in time in the valley of the shadow of death. All right? Verse 66, and thy life shall hang in doubt before thee, and thou shalt fear day and night. Man, who do these curses fit, man? By process of elimination, you think the so-called white man is in fear day and night? Come on, man. Come on, man. Read on. No, and thou shalt have none assurance of thy life. All right? In the morning thou shalt say, would God, it were evening. All right, man, you trying to fast forward the day. <laughs> I made a comment on <laughs> Elder Manat the Zakbar. I like, uh, Elder, y'all going out live today, man. I'm ready for the hit to the weekend. I'm thinking today was Friday. All right. <laughs> yes, that's 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 what this scripture is saying. In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were evening, and in evening thou wilt say, Would God it it were morning? For the fear of thine heart wherewith thou shalt fear, and for the sight of thine eyes which thou shalt see. All right. And we 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 hasten and then how about shower shot to come back and save us, man? All right, we 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 trying to speed this salvation deliverance along, man. All right, the scriptures say 
the, this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached around the world, and then the end will come. All right? So this is the kicker, man. You can't get around this one. Of all the curses who identified as children of Israel, you can't get around this one. All right? This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Deuteronomy 5 and 6 says, Egypt is what? Bondage. Exodus 22 says, Egypt is bondage. All right? And he said, you're going to go into bondage again by way of what? Ships. All right? Let's read this again. This is Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships by the way whereof I spake unto thee. How Moses said it was going to happen. How Moses got the word from Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. How he said it was going to happen. Guess what? It happened. And thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your homeland anymore, anymore again. And there where, where you'll be taken. You shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men, slave men, and bond women, slave women. By process of elimination, who do these curses fit? Guess what? It didn't start only in 1692. It started in 1492 when Christopher Colon came over here and, and grabbed the northern tribe and took them back to Spain. All right. Read no. And no man shall buy you. So your wag attack a Christian say, see, it says no man, no buy you. No, that's an old Quaker term, which means redeem. Nobody's going to be able to redeem us out of these curses until your house shall come back. All right? So this is Deuteronomy 28 and the curses, man. Who do they fit by process of elimination? All right? Lord willing, has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. By Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And much respect to the brothers laboring in this crew worldwide to wake up the elect of the Church of Israel. Till the next time I say Shalom.